My name is Rhapsody, and 121,000 souls are on the line. Also, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Okay. So what do I mean by all of those souls are on the line? I died at the very end of the last episode, just outside the Executioner Chariots area. But the thing is, I died in a very particular area. A very, uh, kind of... Difficult area to get to without dying. So I still need to get to that area without dying before I can pick up my souls and then be happy about the way things have proceeded. I'm not feeling too good about that. Because that's a lot of souls that I might have just lost. Almost lost them there. Please. Just drink. See, I'm trying to be too clever with this, and I'm trying to get through this too quickly just to get my souls back. And it's going to cost me my souls. This is the way the game breaks you down and destroys you as a human being. Okay, you to do your triple hit. Or not. Okay. As soon as it's finished a row of attacks, I can actually just stagger fuck it. Okay, gotcha. Now, I've got to remember, some of these are in weird places. Okay, move forward a little bit. Okay, that one's triggered. Excellent. The other one hasn't triggered. Perfect. That's exactly how I want this to go down. Okay. Please tell me I didn't trigger the other one. Okay, managed to get the backstab. Cool, didn't trigger the second one. I'm in a pretty good position now. Second one, jump down. There we go. I don't want to trigger the third. If at all can be avoided. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I can see the fifth one that I hadn't seen last time now. Absolute twat lord, it's right there. I don't like it at all. Okay. Just trying to make sure that I get the wake up hit there. Excellent. This guy comes down now. And for him, I have the party platter. And then I continue along and then you'll drop down. You know what? Fuck you. Don't you goddamn dare ever step to me. You'll get stepped on. Like you're having a battle rap with Zac Efron. I can't even target these guys, so... That's already problematic. I don't want them to do their lift. Okay, at least this guy isn't up here anymore, but I still need to get that. Oh my god. If I don't make that jump, I lose so many souls. And it looks like a very not that treacherous jump. But I died doing it last episode, so I've proven that there is treachery in that jump. Please, Ryan. Just one time in your life. Don't be shit! Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Just get out of here. No! <laughs> Why am I so bad? I was so scared I was going to uh, fall off one side that I rolled back the other side and fell off. <laughs> My fear of falling off made me fall off. It's poetically shit. And see, here's the thing. Now I'm going to try and run as fast through it as I can. And that's going to get me killed by something. It's already got me hit. No! 
Almost fell off the side there. Already almost got me poisoned. Fuck it. Take it slow, Ryan. Take it slow. You know what to do. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Now you're here, you're gonna go for the one, two, three hit combo. I'm gonna give you the old backstab aroni. And then I'm gonna sweep you down as you get back up. Stay down! Mm -hmm. Now I've got this guy. One, two, gives it the third. Unfortunately, I'm not behind him, so I can't actually capitalize on it. Or am I behind him? I don't know. I'm not. So let's put that one to rest. I don't know if this guy's gonna wake up and come after me, so I'm gonna launch a preemptive strike against this skeleton man. Gaining myself an alluring skull, that could actually be pretty shit. It's actually not gonna help me. Never mind. Okay, you come down. Come on. I don't wanna be versing two of you at the same time. Now, I didn't have a lock on beforehand, otherwise I would have considered just poison knifing him down. Okay. He tries to do the Superman kick. I show him my kryptonite backstab. Mm-hmm. Moving forward again. Got you. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna Estus. I do not want the possibility of this person just comboing me into the dirt. Okay. Second one down. This one's actually relatively far up that you have to move in order to trigger it. Yeah, the other guy's still back up, so yes. This is the perfect way to have done what I just did. Give him the backstab. It's unfortunate that one backstab doesn't just finish them. That's like a huge break point in my damage right there. And then the party platter. We've seen this all before, Ryan. We've seen it all before. Dagger, he comes down, and... Goodbye. Okay. Now this one should have my so Nope, my souls are still in the fucking dangerous place. God damn it. You know what? If I make the jump, I'm actually just gonna fucking uh, Homeward Bone out. And I'm gonna go spend them. It's too dangerous. It is too dangerous. I am not a radical enough man to deal with the consequences. I got him. Got him. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're eight minutes into the episode, and I've spent the entire time retrieving souls. Oh, man, am I good at this video game. All right, let's go to the far fire. It's time to spend these souls. I can't carry these around for any period of time, evidently. Okay. So, I feel like I really like the, uh, dark leggings. Do I want to spend Twinkling Titanite on my dark leggings? Petrified Dragonbone is what I use for my weapons most often. No interest. Should probably buy her Bonfire Ascetic, to be honest. Alright. Let's talk to you. I should have been buying these the whole time. Inflict more, uh, inflict more damage, receive less. They'll be really good against bosses, but... Time. She restocks every time you kill a, uh... One of... Uh, every time you kill a boss that has a primal bonfire. So, I should have purchased them every single time. Whoa, warning high encoding. What is happening here? Huh. Sorry, some weird things are going on with the recorder that might make the stuff a little laggy right now. I hope that's just in this area, otherwise I've made laggy footage all this time. You are bare. Okay, let's upgrade our Estus and upgrade our skills as well. So Dex needs to go up a lot.
Okay, and upgrade the Estus Flask, giving the Estus Flask shard. What? No, I don't have another shard to give. Just sit at the bonfire. Let's get back to where we were. Oh, I've forgotten where we were. No, it's over here. There we go. Boom. Bridge approach. Now it's actually time to fight the people that we were attempting to fight last time. You know what? My controller to uh, chose a really good time to die. Considering I'm not in a boss fight. I'm not in a battle with anyone, in fact. It's a really good time to die. Well done, controller. Enemy drops down. Give him the old what for. Got a counter hit on that one as well. Nice. Okay. Easy. Farming those torches all day, son. This guy has no clue I'm here. Look at this. Oh, I'm a dumb dude. There we go. What? I thought that was going to be a backstab. Well, for certs I had that one. All right. Up and away. If you're wondering why I'm messing around with this shield particularly, uh, I did mention it a few episodes ago, but this is basically the kind of... Uh, Whoa. That broke all of my poise. God damn. Fuck it. I was not okay with him living just a moment longer. But yes, I'm, I'm using this because this is kind of like the grass crest shield of this game. Whoa. You need to die just in case. Because this is kind of like the grass crest shield of this game because it has the stamina regeneration the stat associated with it. That was almost lethal. Luckily, I've done everything that I wanted to do with my souls, so now I don't need to worry if I lose these souls, which is definitely the way that I wanted to handle it, because I'm going up against the Executioner's Chariot. This is actually a really difficult fight for me, at least. Now, if you don't know, uh, this is obviously the undead uh, brought here as punishment, basically. That's- that's kind of what's going on right now. You obviously saw that a little bit in the title, Undead Purgatory. But it's really bad. As in, they're brought here for permanent punishment, and because they're undead, they constantly keep coming back to life. In the arena that we are about to go into, there is a chariot that just constantly kills the undead again and again and again and again. And it just rolls around in a circle forever, beating down the same undead again and again and again and again. Why am I in high encoding? After this episode, I'll figure it out. So if this episode has footage that's a little laggy, I am very apologetic about that. But there's actually nothing I can do right now without stopping the episode. So... I do feel bad about it, but there's nothing I can do right now. I'm going to try and keep an eye on it. Hopefully it doesn't happen anymore, but that's kind of all I can say. I hope it doesn't happen anymore. Okay. Try and do some less visually intensive things as well, I guess. Okay. Let's enter this mist. Have a look at this fellow. God, that's a hideous face. So here is the Executioner's Chariot. And it just runs along the hall, mowing down motherfuckers. Also, there's obviously a lot of motherfuckers in these halls. So, we need to hide off to the side in order to not be mowed down. And then we also need to find the people that are actually bringing all the skeletons back to life. So that we can kind of stop them from constantly existing and being reanimated again and again and again and again. 
There's a human effigy. That's a nice piece of... Nice piece of kit to... What? Whoops. You can roll through the legs, by the way. Not through the legs, sorry. Through the side of the chariot. To avoid getting hit. It's a pretty good strat that we'll be employing at some point in the future. That guy's an archer, so I'm just going to need to defend for a while. Whee! Down he goes. Find... What? Oh my god, I can't find it. Alright, that's it. We're rolling through. Rolling through meta did not work. Yep, dead. Kind of expected that one, to be completely honest with you. God damn. That one's my fault. That one is 100% my fault. I mean, they're all my fault. <laughs> no one else was involved. So I guess it could be said they were all my fault. The thing is, with the execution of Chariot specifically, I constantly die to it. And then I get salty and I decide to run to it, running past all the enemies, basically lion stratting, if you are familiar with the uh, lion strats, which is Northern Lion just running through all of the enemies instead of actually fighting any of them. I'm going to try it here because I really don't have that much on Lion. It's like 11k souls. 11k souls is just... It's basically what I earn running through this area anyway. So it's not that much of a problem. These people don't run as fast as me. I'm probably just going to get there to be completely fine, to be honest with you. The only reason it would be a problem is if I still had the Phantom up here and then the Phantom blocked me for long enough. Unless, of course, they hit me. Oh, they were out of time. Oh, sucks to be them. That was actually really close, though, so I'm never going to do that again. Okay. I managed to actually roll through that one. Hide in off to the side. I've had some collision issues from time to time um, where an enemy will... Sorry, where the spokes of the chariot will totally hit me where I wasn't able to be hit. But that's relatively rare. Now I need to just quickly polish off these guys. They shouldn't be able to come back to life. Hit it! Yeah, quickly! No! <laughs> That's the thing that you need to hit to end the fight. Well, I say end the fight. Begin the next stage of the fight. Okay, so I've dropped the gate. Now the Executioner Chariot runs into it and topples over. Now it's my time to shine. Don't get too close to the back legs of horse. Never do it. Not in real life, not in game. Ooh, that was pretty bad. This stage of the fight is relatively easy. Nope. Lightning, magic, fire, just anything. Just buff your weapon and slaughter the absolute shit out of the Executioner's Chariot. Earning you the Executioner's Chariot soul, which you can use to make a very nice little spear. Um, that's about it, to be completely honest. Ooh, you're just still alive. Not for long. I'm looking for any of the other items that were on the floor. There's one up there. And then that'll be the end of it. Excellent. Then we can exit that way. Not the way we came in. Give it up, horse. Soul of a brave warrior. Nice. You can actually kill the chariot without dropping the bridge, by the way. You just constantly shoot the chariot. It's pretty cool. Um, if you get it down to low enough health while just aiming at it, uh, it will try and make this jump, and it won't... It, like, it won't have enough strength to or something like that. And it will be staggered here. 
and it will kind of just hang on to the edge and you just cut it until it falls. That's a pretty cool way to kill it, but it's much riskier than I need to do. Hurrah for ranged battle, fine work. Thank you. No lock on, fine work, huh? Fine work and then praise the sun. Dwarf ahead, despair ahead butthole. Hurrah for beating to a pulp, then hitting them in one swoop required ahead. So someone really doesn't like the person in here. So who's the person in here? Let's find out after I light this bonfire. Hello, Titchy. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Do you have a lust for blood? I don't. Well, that's not fun. Go back home. This is no place for you. So this is uh, one of the kind of people that you want to side with if you want to... <laughs> Giant ahead, nice. Dwarf ahead in short visions of below. Man, tears. Secret ahead. You are wrong. You are f wrong, friend. You are very wrong. Visions of poor soul, therefore try happiness. Anyway, uh, if you want to go into PvP type of stuff, you want to talk to that guy, and then you can go into PvP arenas, which should be all open here. I'm not a particularly, uh, I don't like PvP <laughs> at all. I don't like when people PvP me. I don't want to PvP other people. So I'm not going to be dealing with him. I could just join his covenant just to kind of get the achievement for it. I'm considering it. And if you want, you can get over here. Get a cracked red eye orb. Two of them at least. Fine work in short. Hurrah for guts. Yeah, that's a pretty good Nickelodeon TV show. But I don't know what that has to do with this. You know what? Fuck it. We'll join your covenant. You've done well to find me. Do you seek blood? If you seek undead blood, bra bra bra. Yes, of course. Why else would you be here? Do you give yourself to no honor? Yes. Then you will need blood. Oh, lots of it. Undead blood. Like your own. But it's not as easy as you think. Uh, <laughs> what would he say? Join the Brotherhood of Blood. Yeah, sure, that's a great idea. Hmm. That can hardly be the whole story. I want to hear what you really think. You want more than just a little blood. You want to be drenched in blood. Mired in its foul stench, am I right? Am I? You can kind of see some predecessors of the uh, whole bloodborne ethos in this character. Abandon your covenant and join the covenant of blood, uh, the Brotherhood of Blood. The interesting thing is I just got the achievement for it by talking to him until that point. So I don't even need to. I can just travel away from here. Now, what can I do in a relatively short period of time? Because I actually don't have that much time left. Um, I know what I can do. I've got a good idea. We're going to go back to Majula, and we're going to have a little bit of a conversation with Lattersmith Gilligan over here about what stocks he can... Well, not stocks, what services he can provide me with. Lattersmith? Come to see our Gilligan. Yeah, I have. Set up a ladder. I want you to set me up the most expensive ladder you can. So then, he'll do that. There's three different ladders he sets up. One of them goes down to the very bottom. One of them goes down to the Grave of Saints. And the final one... So one of them goes to the Gulch. One of them goes to the... Well, the Gulch. I say the Gulch. I mean the... Uh, the... This ladder's not... The, the only things I sell are miniatures. Well... Uh, just... I, I mean, what? The bottom. The gutter. There we go. The gutter. So, the gutter, the Grave of Saints, and then the other ladder. So, you'll note from going down this hole, we've gone to the gutter, we've gone to the Grave of Saints, but we've never gone down the other hole. What does the other hole entail? Well, it's locked. It's got a door, and the door is locked. What's the door locked with? The forbidden key that we just earned earlier. So, it's time for us to go and open that. And see what goodies are in store. If I recall what goodies are in store, like if I recall the actual things that are down there, then I'm going to be pretty happy to see them. Hey, the, the 
only things I sell are miniatures. I mean, if that tickles your fancy. Okay, that's not the one I want. That that does nothing. Prick. Oi. What are you after now? Eh, piss off. Okay. Down we go. Should probably look around. That's not the one I want, is it? No. Okay, so it looks like the ladders are a bit different as well. This is kind of annoying. One specific area I want to go to. Oh, there it is. Never mind. This is the correct ladder. Oh, hey, and there's also another item down there that we haven't collected that I should probably get on. Okay. Climb up this ladder. And we'll see a door that's very familiar. Looks a lot like the other door that we opened with the forgotten key that we owned from the giants. Uh, last episode in the gulch. Okay, I thought maybe the message there was, yo, this is a mimic. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, you have something as well. Dragon Talon. Dragon Talon key item. Interesting. That has to open some new stuff. Soul Vortex. Interesting. So that's a spell. Uh, I think... I think it's a normal sorcery, but it upgrades with the more spell damage that you have. Uh, Witch Tree Branch and Witch Tree Bellvine, those will help us cast hexes and spells. Hexes and sorceries in reverse. Great Lightning Spear is a pretty nice miracle, all things considered. It's one of the only damage miracles, along with Lightning Spear and Sunlight Spear. Are you noticing a theme there? Wee! Gotcha. And we get the Ring of the Evil Eye plus one, which I'm pretty sure is just like lifesteal, is it? I totally don't remember what that one does. Ring of the Evil Eye plus one. I'm looking at these, I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Absorb HP from each defeated foe. So yeah, it's kind of lifesteal-ish. I almost died there by accidentally backstepping. Fine job. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know what? I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to return to the last bonfire, which will take me back to the Majula bonfire. As good a place as any to be, so that I can end the episode and say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. We've defeated the Executioner's Chariot, punishing it for punishing the rest of eternity. Uh, sorry, for punishing the rest of the undead for eternity. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does let me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Dark Souls 2, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.